For this project, you will need two colors of yarn, dark and light. For my size, extra small, I use one ball dark color and one ball light. One ball has 120 meters of 50 grams and it's worsted weight or number four yarn. You can use any yarn of your choice uh, and you need 4mm crochet hook, at least four pieces stitch markers. You can use scrap yarns, pair of scissors or thread cutter and yarn needle. Before we start, I want to explain the flow of the pattern. So first, we are going to make a long chain to go here in the middle of the top. Uh, now the number of chains will depend how long you want the string of your top. I did 170 chains and that measures 35.5 inches, not stretch. After the string, set that aside and start working on the body of the top. Make another long chain that will wrap around your bust but leave a gap of 1.5 to 2 inches and do this part here. Then after that, uh, then the, we do the middle. So as you can see, uh, you can style your top uh, in two ways. You can stretch this like that. You can wear it like this and you can also like pull this one like this and both ways are beautiful. So after making the middle, we mark the stitches where we need to put the shoulder strap. And I know you can't uh, properly see uh, but the shoulder strap has a texture. I used a uh, front post and back post double crochet here. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. Make a slip knot. Then make the number of chains that you need. For my actual top, uh, I did 170 chains. By the way, I'm not going to use the black and white yarn because if I use black, uh, you won't be able to see my stitches. And also, this is only a sample, so don't get confused uh, if you if my top looks small. Okay, so after making a long chain, uh, you can cut the yarn and fasten off. You don't need to hide the yarn ends here, you can just uh, cut them to make it even. Okay, so just like this, you just cut the ends. Okay, so if you're using thinner yarn, your chains will be thin as well. So if you like, you can come back down with a slip stitch in each chain. So insert hook in the second chain. Uh, the loop where the hook is inserted does not count. And then insert hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you end to the loop also. Okay, so that's a slip stitch. And you just keep uh, repeating all the way down to the end. To make it tidy, uh, when you reach the end, to make it tidy, you can tie the two yarn ends and weave it in. Okay, so that is the string uh, set, uh, set to the side and now let's proceed making the body. Okay, so you need to make another long chain that will wrap around your bust uh, but leave a gap of 1.5 to 2 inches. And when you measure, stretch it in some garments when you get the measurements you don't uh, stretch the chain but in this top we need to stretch okay and end the chain with odd number so for my actual top i did 101 chains uh, to fit bust 32 to 34 inches so to start row one in the second chain from the hook uh, make one single crochet in the next uh, chain one double crochet Then uh, repeat one single crochet and one double crochet in the next chain. And continue this pattern till the end. So for the body of the top, we are going to make the basic griddle stitch which is alternating single crochet and double crochet stitch. Okay, so it looks like this. So finish the row and you should end with a double crochet stitch and I will see you by the end of this row. 
I'm at the end of row one and uh, let me just uh, make my last double crochet so you need to remember in this pattern we always end with a double crochet stitch in the last stitch we also need to connect a new yarn so start the stitch first until you have two loops left in your hook then drop the old yarn finish the stitch with the new yarn okay just like that so now we are ready to work for the next row so there are two ways you can do this first uh, First is uh, the yarn that you are not working. You can carry this along while you're making the stitches in the, in the row. And uh, I will show you. Uh, chain one and then turn. Place the old yarn here like this. And if you have yarn end as well, so it will be hidden, saves you from hiding later. Insert hook in the first stitch under the old yarn yarn over pull through over the old yarn yarn over pull two loops okay just like that in the next stitch one double crochet repeat like this okay so you continue the pattern alternate one single crochet and one double crochet just like that all the way to the end okay and i will show you the second way okay so you need to cut the old yarn and the same i'll start the row with chain one and then turn then you just uh, repeat the pattern which is alternating single crochet and double crochet stitch and also hide the yarn ends because if you don't you will end up having a lot of yarn ends okay so you choose whichever you feel comfortable doing so do this uh, all the way to the end if you noticed uh, we are placing single crochet in the double crochet stitch from the previous row and double crochet in the single crochet stitch so if ever you get confused uh, with the stitches look at the next uh, look at the stitch and you work from there Okay, so keep crocheting and I will see you by the end of this row. Okay, I'm at the end of the row, just finishing the last double crochet. And now we are going to connect the the other yarn i did a double crochet stitch until i have two loops left in the hook then finish the stitch with the new yarn okay so now you are ready to work for the next row okay if you chose the other way at the end uh, the same process start the double crochet stitch first until you have two loops left then drop the old yarn and then yarn over in the new yarn and finish the stitch okay just like that so now for the rest of the rows you just repeat row 2 until you have the length that you want my top measures is 6 inches okay so all I want you to remember here is to make your last row the dark color so it matches the color in the first row okay so yeah pause the video and come back when you are ready to do the middle part so let's pretend that I already have the length that I want for my top and uh, now we are going to work uh, this side and at this point you can cut the yarn, uh, the light color yarn we are not going to use that anymore but I won't cut mine because I'm just making a sample so to start, uh, chain 1 then we are going to make one single crochet in each row it's actually very easy because uh, every change of color is a row so this is a row and that's another row and this one and that one and uh, so on so in the very first row make one single crochet one single crochet in the next row and repeat to the end
Then to start the new row, chain 1, turn. We are going to make one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, starting in the first uh, stitch where chain 1 is. So after this row, make 3 more rows of 1 single crochet in each stitch for a total of 5 rows. Then 6th row, we are going to attach uh, the string that we made at the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna let you do this and I'll see you when you are ready to attach the string. So I have finished making 5 rows of single crochet. Now we are going to attach the string. Okay, to start, chain 1 and then turn work. Okay, so the same with previous rows. Uh, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch. The only difference is we're working around the string to attach it. So place the string like so. Insert hook in the first stitch under the string. Yarn over. And then pull through over the string. And then yarn over, pull two loops. Okay, let's do it again. In the next stitch, insert hook under the string, yarn over, pull through, over the string, yarn over, pull two loops. Okay, so you just repeat that and uh, continue till the end. For the other side, uh, we work facing the wrong side of the project and then attach yarn in the first row here and copy what you did in the other side uh, making 5 rows of single crochet and then I will show you how to attach uh, the string. Okay, so now I have finished uh, making 5 rows of single crochet. Let's attach the string in this side, chain 1 and then turn. Okay, so let me just pull some of the string so it's uh, long enough uh, to go in, uh, in, the, in the side where we are going to attach it. Okay, just like this. Okay, so insert hook in the first stitch. And then under the string, yarn over, pull through, over the string, then yarn over, pull two loops. So just the same what we did in the other side and continue this till the end. Okay, so when you reach the end, uh, turn your work facing the wrong side of the project. Okay, so we are going to close this. Insert hook in the first stitch here and in the loop and pull through chain one and then you need to turn 
Now we are going to slip stitch, uh, insert the hook in the second stitch, both sides, and then yarn over, pull through, and to the loop also. Okay, let's do it again. Insert the hook in the next stitch, both sides. Yarn over, pull through, and to the loop also. And continue this until it's fully closed. Okay, so just like that, and now you can uh, uh, cut the yarn and fasten off. Turn the top to face uh, right side, and it will look like this. Okay, and you can pull the string to give the top a shape. Okay. Looks like this, and it's beautiful. So uh, we are done here, now we proceed making the shoulder strap. Okay, for the shoulder strap, we need to mark the stitches first where we need to put our strap. And now I am uh, making extra small for other sizes, I suggest you put the top on and see where you want your strap to start. So make sure that the string is at the bottom. So I'm making the, stra uh, the right strap first, which will be the left side of the top now. Starting from the first stitch to the left, uh, count 6 stitches and then insert the stitch marker in the 6th stitch and to the left of the uh, stitch marker count another 6 stitches and then insert stitch another stitch marker in the 6th stitch then to the left starting in the next stitch count 23 stitches and insert the stitch marker in the 23rd uh, stitch And then uh, starting in the next stitch, count another 6 stitches and then you insert the stitch marker in the 6th stitch. Okay, so just like that and this is where the strap uh, needs to go in these uh, two stitch markers. If you have more stitch markers, go ahead and repeat that in the left uh, strap but if you haven't, uh, you can just do that later after you finish this side. Okay, in the first stitch marker, attach yarn. Okay, row 1, chain 3, discount as the first double crochet. In the next stitch, 1 double crochet. And uh, just make 1 double crochet in each stitch until the stitch marker. Okay, so that's the end of row 1. You should have 7 stitches here and this measures uh, 1.5 inches. Row 2, chain 3, turn. In the second stitch here, this one, uh, we make one back close double crochet. 
So to do that, yarn over, insert hook from the back, go round the post, and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull two loops, and then yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. In the next stitch, uh, just do the normal double crochet stitch. Then make back post double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over from the back, insert hook, go around the post, yarn over, and then pull through. Okay, yarn over, pull two loops, and then yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. Okay, the next stitch, make the normal one double crochet. Then next stitch, uh, one back post double crochet again. So alternate one back post double crochet and one double crochet. Okay, so that's the pattern for row two. You just need to alternate one back post double crochet and uh, just the normal one double crochet. All right, in the last stitch, that will be the chain three. Insert hook in the third stitch and make one double crochet. Okay, so that's the end of row 2. Row 3, chain 3, turn. Here we are going to make front post double crochet in the back post double crochet from the previous row. Okay, to do that, uh, yarn over, insert hook from the front, go around the post, and then yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull two loops, and yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. Next stitch, uh, do the normal one double crochet. Then next stitch, which is the back post double crochet from the previous row, one, make one front post double crochet. Okay, so uh, in the next stitch, you make the normal one double crochet. So uh, that is the pattern for row 3 and just alternate one double crochet and one back uh, one front post double crochet. And you make the front post double crochet in the back post double crochet stitch. Okay, in the last stitch you insert the hook in the third stitch. I mean in this third chain, sorry. Okay, so that's the end of row 3. So row 4, you need to repeat row 2, then row 5, repeat row 3. And you just alternate this for the rest of the rows. And I will make 33 uh, rows, uh, then after uh, we connect the strap in the stitches where we put the stitch marker at the back. Okay, so uh, I will let you uh, do the strap. So let's just assume that uh, I already have 33 rows. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to slip stitch uh, this to the stitches where we put the stitch marker at the back. Okay, so turn the top uh, wrong side out. Then insert hook in the stitch where we inserted the stitch marker. Insert into the loop and pull through. Chain one and then turn. In the next stitch, uh, both sides insert hook pull through and to the loop also. And do this uh, for the rest of the stitches.
okay at the end chain one and you can uh, fasten off but I will not cut my yarn because I will still use this yarn for other projects so for the left uh, strap uh, you just copy what you did in the right strap uh, the only difference uh, that you need to make here is you need to attach uh, the yarn in the second uh, stitch marker okay this one here okay so attach the yarn there so the only thing you need to do here is to hide all your yarn ends uh, if you don't know how to do that I will show you at the end of uh, this video how I hide mine so this is the end of the video. Congratulations for making your own versatile houndstooth cropped uh, top. You can also make the matching houndstooth mini skirt and the face warmer so you have a whole look. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you consider subscribing. And when you do, uh, don't forget to click the bell as well so you will be the first person to know when I upload new video. And it will be very much appreciated as well if you share this video to anyone you know who would like to make this top. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.